Hello and welcome. Thank you for sharing this meditation with me. Especially if you've ever believed that you are not good enough, unlovable, or have ever doubted yourself. Let's journey together to a place of deep relaxation and share some profound teachings about understanding and healing the origin of your self-doubt, which for many of us started in childhood and, if not resolved, can affect us for the rest of our lives. So let's begin. Take a moment for yourself and find a comfortable place where you are relaxed, balanced, and at ease. As you settle deeper and deeper, Take a few extra moments for yourself. Don't be rushed. And become aware of your body. And notice if you're creating any tension, any tightness. Together, starting at the top of our heads, slowly work down making sure our head's floating on our shoulders, not too far forward or back, neither left nor right, just floating. Notice if you're holding any tension in your neck muscles. In your mind's eye, trace down how the neck muscles Relate down into your shoulders and shoulder blades. And with me, as we count to three, one, two, three, drop your shoulders, relax your biceps, and take a breath. Can you relax more? Can you relax your chest and your diaphragm? Be happy to keep repositioning until you find that sweet spot. Relaxing your ribcage, your hips, and lower back. That's good. This is your beautiful body. Just test yourself to relax even more. Your abdomen, the cheeks of your bottom, your legs, your knees, calves, ankles, and even right down to your toes. And then slowly scan your own body. As you go deeper, focus more just relax. Be at ease, at ease with yourself, at ease with your surroundings. Now let's focus on our breathing. Keep it simple. Become the observer. Just lying relaxed 
observing your breath entering and leaving your body. And then you'll notice something very interesting. It becomes very natural to breathe deeper. It becomes very natural to relax your chest. Like a wave on the sea, you breathe in with love. And you breathe out with gratitude. And the deeper you go, the calmer you become. Your focus can become crystal clear. Can you remember the time when you had a thought, maybe the first thought that there's something missing with you, something wrong with you. You may have used powerful words. I am inadequate, a failure, lacking. I'm not good enough. Can you remember that time? I can't cope. I'm unlovable. Was it something happening in your childhood, in your family? Something happening around your environment. Could be somebody important to you. An authority figure, a parent, a grandparent, a teacher, a guardian. Could be the way they looked, criticised you, scolded you. Could be the way they ignored you. or treated you poorly. It could be that somewhere deep you knew there was something wrong. You wasn't treated in the way that you wanted to be treated. These are profound childhood experiences. Not one is too small or to be. They are important then and now because they planted a seed, a seed of doubt about you. About your value, about your worth. about what I call Shen, the essence of who you are. Is this a time when you started to blame yourself? Is this a time when you started to try and fit in to please others. Maybe it was the time when you kept yourself small, not speaking up for yourself, creating a story. Creating a story of worst case scenarios, rejection, abandonment, loneliness. And this forms 
a part of your mind that I like to call the inner child. And it's as though the inner child gets frozen into these beliefs and perceptions. And the inner child starts creating a powerful story of injustice, unfairness. And this story grows. And you look for confirmation, self-fulfilling prophecies. You begin to reject the positive things in your life and almost focus on the negative to prove your story, confirm your story. And then during your teenage years, this story slowly becomes your identity. You start to identify yourself in your own mind as a victim. That there is something wrong with you, that you're not enough. Maybe you try and be perfect. Maybe you work hard to please other people. Maybe you focus on what they may think about you or could think about you or what society may think about you. And this grows and grows. And although there are parts in your life which are highly successful, But at this point about how you believe about yourself and the feelings that that creates, feelings of fear, anxiety, stress, feelings of separation, feelings of rejection, feeling of abandonment. This is the inner child. This is your inner child. This is your baby that needs your help, guidance, and attention. Because this story has now become familiar. This story has morphed into a way of life. This story and identity is now when you doubt yourself. And you say, I'm not good enough. You say, I can't cope. You say, I am unlovable, undeserving. And this is where we need to focus. I want you to picture that part of your mind as a child, lost, confused, overwhelmed by feelings. I want you to think of this as your spiritual child. And you are the spiritual parent. To be able to sit quietly. To be able to breathe deeply. And give that part of your mind, the inner child, a safe place.
where you can journey together. Journey to the light of understanding. Where self-doubt dissolves. Into the dawn of self-acceptance. Of seeing the truth. Of moving away from the confusion and the fog and the lies and the false identity and to see the truth with each breath you can find that inner strength to whisper to your child you are definitely worthy you are amazing just as you are and have always been. Give the child a moment to consider. They'll push back. Of course they will. She's no pushover. He's no pushover. Very determined. But as you begin to consider this wisdom, you may start to see every challenge as a stepping stone to discover your truth, your unshakable Shen, who you really are. hand in hand with your child focus on your successes notice that time when you were strong notice that time when you blossomed in the face of adversity. You've always known you're not a victim. You've always known that you are victorious. As you and the child step closer together, affirm to yourself. We are now on the path of growth, where every lesson we encounter together is a gift of insight. It's now time to cultivate self-love. It's now time to change those seeds of doubt into flowers of confidence. Illuminate the shadows of the past with the light of compassion and understanding and togetherness. It's time to break the chains the poor habits of thinking and align yourself with the truth. You are amazing and always have been. Despite all the difficulties, despite all the adversities you have come through, this is your strength. This is your resilience. And this is the depth of love you can create for yourself. Just for a moment, can you hold that part of you that we're calling the inner child closely? Take them to your heart. 
and just notice the togetherness. Can you look into this child's eye and tell them they're not good enough? In all honesty and truth and spirituality, can you look them in the face and tell them they can't cope? Can you all hold that child in your arms and tell them that they're unlovable? This is the light of love. This transcends all the shadows of doubt. This calming embrace lies within you an ocean of peace and love. And with every breath right now, you can go deeper. You can touch the essence, the spirituality of who you are. Connected to nature, something much bigger than you. You can walk and illuminate your worth your value every day simply by believing the truth. You are one. You cannot be separated. From birth to death, you will be together. You cannot be rejected. You cannot be abandoned. The idea of being not good enough is nonsense. You are cherished. With every step of your journey, you can grow stronger. With every thought and every action, you can build a bridge, a bridge to your dreams, a bridge to your realizations. And this bridge is supported, supported by pillars of self-belief, of self-love, of ambition, resilience, isn't it time to celebrate? Isn't it time to put your hand on the rudder of your life? Isn't it time to look up to the stars? To soar on your wings of self-discovery? You can rise above what anybody else says, thinks, does. You can fly. You have wings. You have spiritual wings. You can fly. So can you look into that chart face now as you hold them? Can you honestly tell them that they're not good enough? Can you truthfully tell this child they can't cope? And they are unlovable. You are love. You create love. You are a spiritual being. No one can hold you down. No one has held you down. You are a coping machine. You are awesome. Simply recognize what you already have what you've always had.
this is the time for you and the little one to come together. No separation. No negative self-talk. No criticizing, comparing or being judgmental. Being accountable. Standing proud. Breathing deep. Opening your shoulders. Looking towards the sun. This is your path. This is your birthright. This is who you are. You are one. You are resilient. Unbreakable. Unmovable. This is your journey. Embrace it. Live it authentically. Live it spiritually. And from this position, find your flow. Find your Wu Wei flow. Live in harmony. And as we walk forward now, coming out of this focused meditation, do not be rushed. You're in control. This is your life, your mind, and your body. I want you in control. Let's do one more scan down our physical body, making sure we've picked up no tension or tightness, shoulders dropped. Check our breathing. Find our balance. Be in our flow as we count to seven. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. And you can open your eyes whenever you want. It's a good idea to give yourself a quick shakedown and a nice big deep breath. I hope you enjoyed sharing that journey with me. And until we meet again, Yi Dao, Chi Dao.